Uh, let's talk about uh, imports within uh, imports into modules um, in, in, in this case for example uh, let's go to the data um, and uh, try to import one file into this module um, and we uh, there are there there can be two different options in here which is upload new file and a connect connect to plan model right now we are going to upload new file um, because we want to import the CSV uh, formatted uh, file into into Anaplan. So we go ahead and, and click on upload new file. We have already selected or um, created one file called import test. We uh, upload that file into the system. And this is the first screen that you will, greet, will be greeted with. Um, you know, there's the two sections, one at the top and the second at the bottom. The second at the bottom is um, nothing but the file, the replica of your file, the, how the file looks and how the how Anaplan you know, um, translates that file into, into the system. And now, uh, before we come into the file, let's talk about the first few options up top. You have the text encoding. Um, I usually prefer keeping it as UTF-8 or ISO 8000, um, uh, 8000 something. Um, but most of the times I keep it a UTF-8. There are column separators where you have the tab, comma, semicolon, other. Um, the column separators in this case is uh, the comma because it's a comma separated file. So it's comma, if you try to basically change it from tab, comma to tab, you'll see the implication and and uh, how, how Anaplan trans, uh, you know, translates it. It's, this is not going to be meaningful. Um, and if you, even if you, do semicolon or or any other uh, the, the column separate it's not going to be meaningful right now it's only the comma separate that is going to be meaningful and it will translate into the uh, the correct format now on the right hand side you see text delimiters decimal separators header row first data row default file and, and what are these options if you look at the text delimiter it is you know uh, double quote right um, decimal separators is dot um, the, the, there's a there's a different option as comma as well but there are certain uh, countries where the decimal separators is um, is is comma and uh, the thousand separators is dot so that it, it basically it, it helps that way as well so right now most of the countries or most of the there's other systems as well where, where decimal separators are, are are comma and not dot so in this case we'll keep this dot because we decimal separator in this case is dot uh, we have uh, the file is built in such a way and header row and first data row is uh, in this case our first uh, data point comes uh, as a part of the first row uh, that's why our header row is um, um, sorry the first data point is is within the, within the within the second row so that's why our header row is first and our data point is uh, you know within the second row that's Cadbury I'll find 148 so that's the second row that's the first data row is second but the header row is one but in case if you see that in you know, a Excel or, or the CSV file is built in such a way that your that you you know the first data point is in row three or row four you can play around with this one saying that hey my header row is if my first data row is four my header row has to be three something like that so you can keep on increasing this one so if, if i keep on if i keep on um, increasing the increasing the header rows so you see my first row gets grayed out and this is not going to be meaningful in our case because the mapping will will not be successful so in this case i will have to go and and say my header row is uh, one and my first data row is two and and last but not the least set default file what does this mean so in this case it's by default it's 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 mentioned as no key private that means is uh that um uh, you're the only person that will have access to this file um um and and nobody else will have access to this file in the back end uh, and a plan will not be uh, and a plan will be storing uh, uh, this file onto the server but only you will be having access to this one uh, and that too if you do not access this file uh, continuously and do not have access uh, you do not access this file you know for the next 48 hours and a plan is going to delete it from from the fr from the back end so even you do not will not be having access to this file after 48 hours if you keep this no key private and admins is that if you keep it as admins um, we are not going to discuss the difference between admins only and everyone, but let's talk about admins only in, here in this case. So admins only, if you keep admins only, that means all the workspace administrators will have access to this file in the back end. So when I say file, I mean to say this kind of, uh, this kind of, um, you know, window. So they will be able to see what was the, uh, what is the header row, what is the header row like, what, is, what are the data points within the, within that file that you actually uploaded. So we, uh, it, in this exercise we'll, we are going to keep it as admins only and we're going to hit next so you'll get you'll be greeted with this pop-up so hit okay yes 
and the move on now on, in this file you'll see on, on this window you'll see there are two different uh, uh, columns that are already mapped that's because your the naming convention of file and the system um, is matching that's why it it, it, it auto mapped them um, uh, if the if the naming convention was different and you had brand in let's say in file and the brands and, and brands and system it wouldn't be auto mapped so that you would have to manually pick it up right so uh, now let's go through the mapping uh, one by one you see the target is uh, source source on the left hand side and the target on the uh, source on the left target on the right uh, you see time brands employees and uh, that zero one brands line items right so if you look at the file uh, this file the file that we're talking about you see where the where is the time the time is in the column headers right but not every not every time period is in column headers. There's brands and employees as well in the column headers. So if you look at this time, um, most of the time periods are in the column header. So what I what we are going to do is we are anyways going to keep the time mapped to the column headers because most of the time periods are in column headers, right? And there are only two columns which are not column headers. That is brands and employees, and we are going to exclude them from the column headers by mapping them on their own source tar source and target uh, mappings, right? So that's why we picked column one as brands, column two as employees. That's Anna Plant is going to treat them uh, separately uh, and, and, and not as the column headers. So you see one color, this is a reddish color for col column headers and somewhat greenish in for brands and other sort of green in as far as employees concerned right and last but not the least is this line item so we've got only one line item in the system uh, or in the source file so what we are going to do is we're going to keep it as a fixed line item right so there's only one line item and um, let's move on to the to the next tab which is time now if you look at the time it is automatically going to map it on ma match names uh, right now we cannot have it on match names because uh, the Anna plans conventional uh, time period format is um, MMM space YY which is Jan space 22 Feb space 22 March space 22 so on and so forth but if you look at the if you look at the, the, the time period that is within the source file, it is not Jan. It is basically here Y, 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 M, M. That is 2022 Jan, 2022 Feb. That is uh, four times Y and then two times M. Now, if you go to the time, you go to the periods, you will see multiple options. Uh, you'll see fixed position patterns. So which is Y, 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 M, M. You click on this one and that is done. Now let's go to the brands. Brands is since there is only one brand in the source file. Uh, sorry, th there are, there are two uh, brands in the source file, but there is only one in the target. So that's why only one got mapped. The second one did not get mapped. So what if, for this exercise, we're going to ignore the second one, which is this one. We're going to click this one and ignore unmapped. So this is getting ignored. And employees will be auto mapped because they're both the source and target have the naming convention uh, for these employees same similar to what uh, similar to what uh, we saw in the uh, the other tabs and last is the data zero one brand line items uh, so you have to mark which line item in the target it has to go to so we'll we'll mark it as as the data is the line item that is within the target once that is done we hit ok if you hit OK, the action is going to be created within the backend, but it's not going to be run. You know, it, it's not it, it will not run. Uh, but if you say run import, then uh, both things will happen. One, the action will be created and second, uh, the, the import will also uh, run and the data will be imported. Let's try it and check it out. Um, the, the import has been uh, initiated. And once we once we started, you see the, the there are 108 updated and uh, 108 ignored these are all of uh, the other brand that was not uh, that was not updated or that was not mapped so close this window and you will see that the, the data points get updated in this module now uh, that there's a difference between how you load the data in in modules and the list list is pretty straightforward uh, but for modules it's 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 a little bit tricky because you have to take multi-dimensionality of the modules into consideration in this case hope that helps thank you so much